so you finished printing all 24 uh, of your prints, okay? And you're probably wondering, now what do I do? So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to pick out your best 20 prints out of the total 24, 25 prints that you've made. Once you have those selected, you're going to take and carefully cut along the edges with scissors and you're going to cut out your triangles. So you want to cut nice and neat, try and cut right next to the edge carefully. Once you have your 20 best triangles cut out, <clears throat> next you're going to glue them into your folded circles. So things to keep in mind with your folded circles. You might test to see how it fits before you apply glue. So this one fits well in this circle. When working with the glue, the glue will actually cause the ink to become sticky again. Um, it absorbs through the paper and it'll make it smear if you touch it. So you wanna use a minimal amount of glue. So what that means is you're going to put a dot of glue in each corner of your triangle and one in the middle. Notice I have not covered the entire back of my triangle in glue. If we do that, then it's going to make it very sticky on your front design. I center it in my triangle and I carefully press it into place. And then I'm going to set it off to the side to let the glue dry. And I'm going to repeat the process for each of my 20 circles that I've constructed. If you haven't finished all 20 of your circles, cutting them out and then folding them using your triangle guide, you need to take a moment and do that before you move on to cutting out your prints. If for some reason um, your design does not reach all the way to the corners, um, hopefully you have traced around your printing plate as you've been um, printing, but if you haven't, you can take your pencil, trace around your triangle over the top of your design, and then cut it out as well. So that is your next step on your polyhedron.